water system of the Earth is responding to tidal forces of the moon. At the heart of our solar system is a ticking time bomb. When it goes off, it will destroy all life on Earth. This cosmic countdown is our sun, and like every star in the universe, it has a finite existence. Just like dinosaurs went extinct, humans are now scared of the future. While we can't predict the future with certainty, science and astrophysics allow us to make educated guesses about the incredible events that could unfold in our universe. In today's episode, we are going to reveal unusual and unsettling events that will happen in the future in our universe. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn the mystery of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Magnetic Field of Earth. About every 300,000 years, the Earth experiences a complete flip of its magnetic field, where north becomes south and vice versa. The last one took place approximately 780,000 years ago. So within the next few thousand years, we could witness this dramatic shift in the Earth's magnetic field. This event carries potential risks, including heightened susceptibility to geomagnetic storms and the possibility of global power outages. Now, this isn't a problem for your fridge magnets, but it could mess with our power systems and make us more vulnerable to strong magnetic storms. Saturn rings will vanish. Looking far into the future, Saturn will lose its beautiful rings. These icy ring particles are slowly falling into Saturn, kind of like rain made of rocks. Currently, we're lucky to live in a time when Saturn's rings are a sight to behold. But don't be too sad because another planet will form new rings. In about 40 million years, Mars will break apart its closest moon, Phobos, and create shiny new rings. 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid about 10 kilometers wide smashed into the Gulf of Mexico, causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. Our best predictions tell us that things like this happen about every 250 million years. So, if people are still around in the next 180 million years, we might face a similar problem unless we've developed technology to protect Earth. Chernobyl event. In 1986, a catastrophic nuclear incident occurred in Chernobyl, Ukraine, resulting in a reactor meltdown and the release of radioactive contamination in the region. This led to the establishment of a deserted area covering approximately 1,000 square miles, deemed too hazardous for human habitation. Scientists estimate that it will not be safe for people to return to this area until around the year 22,000. Sun will die. Stars have decreasing lifetimes, and our Sun is no exception. In around 5 billion years, it will run out of hydrogen fuel in its core. This will cause it to expand into a red giant, engulfing inner planets, including Earth. After a billion years as a red giant, the Sun will become a white dwarf, similar in size to Earth, and gradually cool over billions of years. Supernova Visibility when a huge star runs out of fuel and gets old, it doesn't go out with a whimper. Instead, it goes out with a bang, called a supernova. Some of the stars we can see at night, like Antares and Betelgeuse, are getting old and could go supernova in the next million years or even sooner. These explosions will be spectacular, much brighter than a full moon, and you might even see them during the day. Moon footprints, disappearance, People in the past have been lucky enough to spot a supernova. A German astronomer named Johannes Kepler saw one and thought it was a newborn star. In 1969, humanity achieved the historic feat of landing on the moon for the first time, leaving both symbolic and physical marks with the iconic footprints left by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin imprinted on the lunar surface. Unlike Earth, where natural forces like wind and water can erase footprints on the moon, these impressions endure. However, after approximately 10 million years, these initial footprints will gradually fade due to micrometeorite impacts. The Era of Black Hole As time marches on, 
white dwarfs and neutron stars will gradually break down due to a process called proton decay, leaving behind only black holes. Trillions of years from now. What happens beyond this point remains uncertain, but it's highly improbable that humans will be present to observe it, unless, of course, the theories of multiple universes turn out to be true. Asteroid hitting Earth. In 2004, scientists first observed a large asteroid named Apophis and initially believed it could collide with Earth in 2029. This raised concerns due to the asteroid's potential for significant destruction. However, upon further investigation, they realized their calculations were inaccurate, and Apophis poses no risk of striking Earth within the next century. While it will pass close to our planet in 2029, a collision is not expected. Gamma ray burst. Gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are super intense explosions in space that happen when black holes form. Even though they only last a few seconds, they release as much energy as our sun does over 10 billion years. If a GRB happens in our Milky Way, it would cause huge problems for life on Earth. Our models suggest that a really close GRB happens at least every 500 million years, and sadly, it's happened before. Around 440 million years ago, a GRB near Earth messed up our atmosphere. This led to the extinction of many sea creatures, making it one of the worst times in Earth's history. We think a similar thing might happen in the next 500 million years. Galaxies Collision Our Milky Way galaxy is going to crash into another galaxy called Andromeda. Right now, we're 2.5 million light years away from each other, but in about 4.5 billion years, we'll smash into each other. This will create a new galaxy called Milkdromeda. The supermassive black holes in the centers of both galaxies will meet and eventually collide, releasing more energy than all the stars we can see in the universe combined. This might sound scary, but the night sky will be incredibly beautiful. In 3.75 billion years, Andromeda will be clearly visible in our night sky. Then, just 100 million years later, we'll see lots of new stars being born. Four billion years from now, Andromeda will stretch out our Milky Way and change its shape. Seeing all of this happen would be an amazing experience. The Moon drifts two inches away from Earth yearly. Over billions of years, this accumulates. In Earth's youth, days were only five hours. As the Moon slowly moved, Earth's rotation extended to 24 hours in four and a half billion years. If it persists, Earth's day could become 43 hours in the future. Voyager Journey In the distant future, around 40,000 years from now, the Voyager space probes will approach another star. Launched in the 1970s to explore beyond our solar system, Voyager 1 holds the record as the farthest human-made object from Earth. Despite its five-decade journey, it's still relatively close in the vast cosmos. If an alien civilization exists near the star Voyager one is heading for, they might find and retrieve a special Earth record containing images, sounds, music, and a map leading to our planet, providing a glimpse into our history. Degenerate Era In 100 trillion years, the creation of new stars will stop because there won't be enough hydrogen fuel left. During this period, known as the Degenerate Era, the universe will primarily consist of black holes, white dwarfs, brown dwarfs, and neutron stars. As time goes on, some planets might still be circling these remnants, and if they retain enough heat, they could potentially support some form of life.